All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about factors, primes, and composite numbers. Okay, this is a really important video because this is going to set us up for things that we do for the rest of the year, especially um, our fractions unit, but also our order of operations and all kinds of other things, especially when you get into seventh grade stuff. So this stuff is really important. Your objective for this video is as a student, you should be able to determine whether a number is prime or composite. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. And what you need right now is graphic organizer number five. Like I said, this is number five. Okay, so you need to go ahead and get graphic organizer number five. It's right there in that box. Go ahead and grab that one right now. All right, first thing we're gonna go ahead and start with, we're gonna start with factor, okay? What is a factor? Well, a factor is just a number that is multiplied by another to give a product, all right? So once again, this goes in your stuff. Now it's probably gonna switch here in just a second. So, yep, let me go back, all right. So once again, a factor is a number that is multiplied by another number to give a product. So if you look down here at 7 and 8, 7 and 8 are two things that you multiply together to get this number 56. 7 and 8 are the factors, okay? There's other ones for this number. You could also add 2 and 28, okay? You could, uh, the, both of those would have worked. Um, you could also add 14 and 4. Those are all factors of 56, all right? So we're going to do a little bit of examples. If we wanted to find the factors of 24, so there's a way to do that. We want to find all the factors of the number 24. So if we do that, what we do is we actually make a list of things. And what I would do is I always start with 1. So 1 times what equals 24? Well, 1 always works. So 1 and 24. Does 2 work? Well, I go down to 2. Does 2 work? Well, 2 times what equals 24? Well, 2 times 12. It does. Okay, what about 3? Does 3 times something? Yeah, actually, 3 times 8 equals 24. What about 4? Well, yeah, 4 times 6. What about 5? No, not 5. Well, what about 6? Well, we already have 6 right here, so we're done. So what you're going to see, actually, is people don't actually write them like this. What you want to see is you want to see them written from smallest to largest. So what you'll see is 1 and then 24 at the end. You also have 2 and 12. You have 3 and you have 8 and you have 4 and you have 6. Okay, and both of those are in between. Those are the factors of 24. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Those are numbers that can be multiplied together to get 24. All right, let's go ahead and show you another example. What about the factors of 20? Well, once again, we always start with 1 because 1 times a number always equals that number. So we're going to start with 1 and 20. Those are factors. What about 2? Well, it's an even number, so I know 2 goes into it. 2 and 10. What about 3? Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. No. What about 4? Ooh, yeah, 4 and 5. Okay, notice I've already got a 5 down there. That's my next number. I am done. So my factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Those are the factors of 20. Those are all factors. Okay. What about 36? So this is the last one we'll go ahead and do is 36. You need this one in example number 3. The factors of 36. Well, once again, we always start with 1 and 36. What about 2? Well, 2 is a, or 36 is an even number, so 2 does go into it. 2 times what? Well, it's actually 18. What about 3? 3 does too. 3 and 12. What about 4? Ooh, 4 and 9. What about 5? No. Nope. What about 6? Ooh, yeah, 6. Now here we go. 6 and 6, right? But you only need to put one of them because we're only looking for the factors, which are those numbers that you multiply together. So you only put the 1. Okay? Now, after 7, we're already past it. 7 and 8, we don't have to do because we already see that 6 and 6. That indicated that we were done. But we could check 7 and 8. Those don't work. So those are our factors for 36. You should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now, why is that important? Well, we're going to go ahead and start with the whole prime numbers, okay? So we just talked about factors, and we have to be really careful, okay? Factors are two numbers that you multiply together to get a bigger number. Now, a prime number is a number that has only two factors, and that's really important. Prime numbers have only two factors, itself, that number, and one. So for example, seven is a prime number because the only numbers that will divide into it evenly are one times seven. 
two doesn't work, three doesn't work, four doesn't work, five doesn't work, and seven is itself, so you're done. So one and seven are the only two things that make it. So remember, prime numbers are numbers that only have two factors, one and itself, all right? Now, here's some examples of prime numbers, which you need to make sure go in your graphic organizer. Two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, and 19. These eight, all eight of these are ones that you need to have memorized, just to give you a heads up, okay? So let's go back. All eight of these are ones that you're going to have to know because you're going to use these a lot in class. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Okay, well, what about the number 1? Well, number 1 only has one factor, 1. That means it's not a prime number because 1 times 1, remember we only wrote 1 6 down when it was 6 times 6. It's just the same thing with the factors. They have to be two different numbers. So the number 1 is not prime, okay? However, 2 is because only 1 times 2. The only way to make 3 is 1 times 3. 5 is 1 times 5. 7 is 1 times 7, if you get the idea. So number 1 is not a prime number. The first prime number is 2, okay? Now, what about composite numbers then? Well, if you remember our examples, we had 24, we had 20, and we had 36. Those are all composite numbers, and they're composite numbers because they have more than two factors, okay? So examples of, if you look at number 8, okay, 8 is a composite number. We know that because the factors of 8 are 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. It has four factors. If you see down here at the bottom, it has four factors, which means it's a composite number. Remember, a prime number has two factors, one in itself, a composite number has more than two, okay? So, some more examples. 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, all of those, okay? They all have more than two factors. For example, number 4, 1 times 4 and 2. Those are all factors. What about 6? 1 times 6 and 3 times 2, 8. 1 times 8, 2 times 4, 9. 1 times 9 and 3, okay? Those are all composite numbers. All right, what about the 1? Now, we talked about earlier, 1 is not a prime number. It's also not a composite number. It's just lonely. It's not prime because it does not have exactly two different factors. They have to be different, okay? 1 times 1, those are the same. It's just one factor. It doesn't count. And it's not composite because it doesn't have more than two, right? It's just one. It's just lonely. It's, n it's, it's nothing, okay? So just giving you a heads up, one is neither prime nor composite. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of our video. Make sure you have filled out your graphic organizer. There is no more tasks that you need to do. You just needed to get this information. The next thing you will do is a C of Aristoteles, and that will be doing, what you will be doing with that video is finding all of the prime numbers from zero to 100. So good luck on that. Have a wonderful afternoon. And if you need any help, you're really confused, just come see me. I'll help you out.